intern, welcome back and good morning. Welcome to the dinosaur park where we have our adorable little Arkies. I am just in love with these guys. And we have found some new ferns. Are they the ferns we will decorate all of the fern forest with? Who knows? But that is our goal today, intern, is to go through and to try to find as many different types of ferns as possible. And they're very, very dark ferns. But there's some, there's some lighter color ones that we can mix in. It's just so hard to tell. We still don't have quite everything unlocked that I really wish we did uh, from our greenhouse because the greenhouses refuse to sell to us until we prove our metal in these new areas. Couldn't we do that? Is that what we want to do? I mean, it would be... we could get rid of this palmento. And are there any fern foresty trees we can put in just yet? We could put in a log. A log is actually a very good idea, so let's let's throw a log down in turn. I know, that's like make it or break it on, on decorating. If you can't figure out how to put a simple log down so it looks nice in an exhibit, then you really need to question if you should be designing zookeeping exhibits. Alright, so that's down. There's some nice big trees. Let's see. <gasps> we have a hatching! We have a hatching of a little baby! It's not a super, so they don't inherit super from their parents. Noted! Insects replenished. Baby! Baby, 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 baby! Are you so fierce? Are you so fierce and tough? Are you a little girl? Is it a little girl? I think it's a little girl. Congratulations, mom! You've got a wee baby! It is a little girl! Oh, that's so exciting! What I really would love to do is to get, um, let's see, more of them. I want more in turn. I want more of the Arkies. <laughs> That'll be something we'll work on. In fact, why don't we go ahead and we'll make another one really quickly because I think they're absolutely freaking amazing. All right, let's see. Right here. Right here. Good morning. I wonder what, what should we call this guy? He's like bushy white eyebrow guy. Hmm. Eyebrow guy. Good morning, eyebrow eyebrow scientist. <laughs> Hopefully the petri dish luck is with us. There we go. Alright, another little girl. She will be unrelated too, so maybe that means more babies. But she can grow up with the other little one. There you go, guys. Oh, an alarm call, huh? Okay, and calling to the others. So yeah, she's calling okay to everybody. Whoops, let's put down... Some of these insects and we'll put up a flesh feeder way up here for a more feeling filling mill if they really need one and let's continue to try to find the ferns because fern forest is going to be one of our major exhibits that we're going to be working on okay that's definitely not the fern so do we have anything that would be good in here we have tree ferns we might just have to stick with tree ferns and yeah, weird mix of ferns for now. So we'll just do whatever interesting mix of ferns we can kind of pluck together at the moment. And then as time goes on, we'll add in different plants. Right now, we don't have a lot of option from the greenhouses. Like I said, they just they want us to prove our metal. Oh, and we'll also come in here. We'll remove the palm trees for these little guys and the grass. Oh my gosh, it's so dark again. I can I swear I can never like see a thing. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, we could make another one. Okay, let's make another one real quick. I can't help it. I love them. They're just the best things. All right, let's see. Come on, Petri dish luck. There we go. Is that a little boy this time? It is another little girl. Oh my goodness. Well, there you go. Lots of little girls. That should be fine. And it is so dark. Do we have any lamps we could put around. Let's focus on that for a second because I can't see a thing. So let's see. Oh, let's put another donation box down here. This would be a good spot for one, I think. Right there. We'll put more seating arrangements down soon and more places to eat. We might almost qualify for a restaurant pretty soon, so that, there's an idea. Oh, let's put down like another like an Allosaurus statue. Right over here, maybe? Or another tar pit. Why don't we put... Ooh, look at the Spinosaurus statue. Let's put the Spinosaurus in here, because that looks amazing. And we'll put another tar pit right there. The extinct decorative tar pit. Okay. Right 
here. There we go. And we'll add some more daisies. Oh, thank goodness, it's starting to get lighter. No, maybe not daisies. Well, maybe like a few daisies and then mostly ferns. All right, there we go. There's some daisies. And how are we doing on ferns? Hmm. How? Blue gum, huh? There's an idea. All right, let's finish removing the palmentos. These get out of the way for the very, very tiny little dinos. Who, apparently they're playing with their toy balls, but the toy balls have rolled into a single spot in their enclosure. Let's get the grass out in turn. Let's carefully pluck that out. Good. Don't worry, little guys. We're coming back. We're coming back. And we come bearing tree ferns. Oh, there's some more grass. Gotcha. There we go. Oh, listen to them. I'm so excited to have so many Archies. This is going to be wonderful. All right, let's put the tree ferns around here so a nice little cluster of them that they can kind of hide in and then, oops we accidentally put a path in here so let's get that out and here and here there you go tiny guys and now we will sprinkle we'll leave the center area open and we'll sprinkle everywhere else with a lot of ferns but i'm going to remove these uh, actually i kind of like them in this exhibit so we'll leave them in here but take them out of here and let us see about oh yeah maybe a mix of these will be okay they're just so dark it's kind of amazing the contrast what why is there still there we go there we go that that should take care of that and let's grab this a nice large one it's kind of there we go to help them to help them hide and try to mix in. There we go. Good, 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 good. Um, and do we have any other ferns that we could add in or anything of that nature? Decorating a fern forest with one and a half stars is more challenging than you think it would be in turn. That's for sure. All right, anything else along those lines? Ooh, there's some more grasses. But again, it's interesting to note that grasses, I mean, I, I just never really think about that, but grasses were not present. So we're trying to go really light on the grasses. Do we have any low, very low hanging vines? We have some very low hanging ones we can try to put in the, the trees. Let's see. Woohoo, yay! I'm glad you guys are having a good time. Yeah, there's a few very low hanging vines that we can try tucking in some of these trees. They'll probably they'll probably grow better in some of the other trees that we'll have. Oh, look at the babies! Walk by! Hi, babies! So cute. Alright, not these guys. Is this... Sword ferns! Yes! This is what we need. Sword ferns are a type of fern. Not quite the type that I think we're really going for. But, oh, they mix in beautifully. Look at that. they were perfectly clean which dirty animal we had a challenge going from our bosses to keep all of our animals super duper clean who is messy huh who when did the new baby because we didn't bathe the new babies oh such an early easy mistake how embarrassing in turn how embarrassing we should have caught that all right so let's work on decorating the area with various ferns. I think that... I really think these large ferns do quite well for what they are and then mixing in the uh, darker ferns with them. There we go. We'll put more down here. I know once we get our hands on the ladies ferns, that'll totally revolutionize our ability. Oh, there's some grass. Get out of here, grass. Shoop, shoop, get out of here. Yeah, I know once we get our hands on some ladies' ferns, uh, that will totally revolutionize how we decorate these areas. But for now, we must make do with what we have. Alright, there we go. And some of the darker colored ferns. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Just kind of spread it over. Okay, good. I think that should actually really look very nice. Alright, and let's put in a log for these guys. Like right there would be probably a good spot. And how are they doing? Hi, little ones. 
I wish I had a lower lying fern or something to put in here with you. Woo, that's not gonna work. There's a snake plant. We could put like a few Shasta daisies down. I do like Shasta, Shasta, Shasta daisies. Let's see. Sunflowers. <laughs> oh gracious. Hi little guys. They're just so cute. And actually, some of the research that you have done, intern, it did show... Ooh, maybe we could put some water lilies in here. Yeah, look at that. Just a few. Can I... There! Perfect! Wonderful! Okay, that makes me happier with how their exhibit's starting to go. And, let's see, so grass... Low-lying grass. Do we have any low-lying ferns? By any chance? Good job, innkeeper. Innkeeper, but zookeeper. That's when you know you're distracted on the, the problem of the ferns, in turn, is when you start calling your zookeepers innkeepers. There we go. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a very excited guest. Alright, so next up, in turn, will be our goal of having more stars. Because more stars means more supplies, means better exhibits. So we'll try to improve our dino park with more stars now. All right, so what tactic do we want to take with making more stars? Probably making more dinosaurs. Where are we right now? Number of species is very low. Animal happiness is totally maxed out. Guests are so super duper happy. Educational habitats, awards and challenges, we're working on it. Releases to the wild. There's actually wild auroch herds that um, some of the conservation groups are working on breeding. So we might start making some of them, putting them in the temporary exhibits. And, oops, what's this? Consultants from Leisure Transportation Federation have advised you that building a zoo tour using Jeep vehicles will make your zoo more popular. Okay, we could do that. In fact, that's a, we're gonna take that challenge on. That's a difficult challenge. We need to build a Jeep tour. We don't even have a Jeep tour yet. And then we need to take pictures from the Jeep tour. And we don't really have anywhere I would want to put a Jeep tour just yet, but maybe we could, we could maybe put one down here and it could cut through like this. Just a small one. There's a paleontologist, Peoples. He's gonna go dig up a fossil, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. For now, let's come into our laboratory and let's put together <gasps> dodos! We can have dodos! Yes! Come here, little one! I have such a weakness for, for wee little silly dodos. They actually probably weren't very silly at all research uh, points, too. They probably had pretty complex uh, little social lives. And there. Alright, gentle with the fossil pieces. Wonderful! We should be able to get plenty of DNA from that. And now we can have little dodos! There you are, my sweet! Oh my gosh! And we can put them right here. And people can- that'll be like the nice, calm, beginners, uh, beginners thing that people see when they come into the zoo. Oh, that's so exciting! Come here, dodos! Let's get you started. There we go. Hello, eyebrow man! How are you today? Hope you're doing well. <gasps> dodo! 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 It's a little super dodo! <gasps> so cute! It's a little girl, too! And they get very bored, so we're gonna keep them on nice flat ground. And we'll give them a nice big area full of, like, balls and toys to play with. Because they do get bored very easily. You hear me? Flat ground. Flat. There we go. All right, and a tropical dry forest biome. So let's go ahead. Yay! Two stars. Oh, we're going up in the world in turn. We're going up in the world. We'll go ahead and just use a jungle fence for them. Oh, we can do a custom entrance now. We've been given permission for that, it seems. And we're going to do, do like this. Our little dodo exhibit is going to take up quite a bit of area. We're just going to go ahead. I'm going to let them have the wilds of this zone back here. So we'll let them have that area. And then we'll come over here. And let's see one down. No, let's do like this, I think. Yeah, like that. 
And yeah, the rest will be dodo area. All area for the dodos to play in because I love dodos. I think they're just so cute. I'm a big fan of birds and thankfully that covers the interesting intersection between uh, prehistoric animals and birds it covers quite a few of the animals we're working with right now. All right, we'll put the gate there, we'll put a gate here, and all oh, right, little sweetie, what do we need to feed you? Hey, look at that, much yours. All right, let's put down some food, some nice piles of fruit. I'll try to make you like a little, a little coastline that would have a crustacean. Oh, dodo rocks, we need tons of dodo rocks. And the blocks of ice, for sure. Balls with rattles, rubber toys. I'm not taking any chances. These guys get bored faster than you can blink. And let's see. Little Dodo! Oh, it's going to be so exciting! Alright, what exhibit do we need to put you in again? A tropical dry forest, that's right. So off we go, intern. We're going to get out our tropical dry forest shovel. There we are. Good, good, good. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Good. Alright. And they also, from what reports said, would eat crustaceans along like the beach line too, so it should be fine. The palms should be just fine over here. Maybe give them more area to nest and plenty of privacy from the, the view of the guest. Yes, research for the dodo rock is complete. So, oh goodness, can't see the dodo rocks for anything, but they're there somewhere. All right, what do you need for shelter? <gasps> Little rock cave. Or a huge rock shelter. Let's go with the small rock cave. How about that, Dodo? And we'll put a little shade structure to celebrate them, kind of like over here. There we go. And let's move you out of the way. Over here. And I'm going to move the fruits kind of in here. Scattered amongst the, the palm fronds. And we're actually going to work on trying... Let's see, tropical dry forest. A little more dirt. There we go. Making it a little bit easier to see what the heck's going on down here. Ah, grass. Eh, the grass is probably okay to be honest. Grass was around by the time the dodos were. There, that'll make it much easier to see at least. And let's make a tiny shallow water pool where they can hopefully come to swim, to drink, to not drown, but they shouldn't. They're not terribly, like, unintelligent birds. People really slight the dodo quite often. It's kind of tropical dry rainforest is kind of what it is, so... Aww. All right, let's let our little dodo out. <gasps> and we have some some growth amongst our new ones. Hello, little dodo! Oh, you're so cute! I'm gonna make you a friend right now. All right, let's get in here and make another dodo. And they breed so fast! Which is good, because we can make lots of money off of them. They're also exceptionally popular in private uh, private zoos, collections, and museums. But of course, we would only give our dodos over to the best of the best people. Oops, this is a, another girl. So we'll have to keep going till we get at least one or two boys. Oh, I'm going to go play with the little balls. Oh, they're so cute. I'm so excited. Let's see. Where's our kind of beachy... The coastal, let's do a little bit of coastal over here actually. I kind of want to mix the coast in a little bit. And the sand a little bit. And change the shallow water to that because they were they, they were on an island. So this feels like it kind of mixes in the two types of land, no, of land that they would have been on. A little bit better in my opinion. Coastal, sand, thank you very much. Sprinkle that down. Smaller shovel, smaller shovel intern, and come on in. Do a nice little mixing, if possible. There. I like it. Also, it's dark again. Oh, we need to get some of those lamps up. My goodness. All right. Goyeth plant. We'll just have to totally deck this area out with all sorts of... <gasps> we have some adults now! How do you look as an adult, my friend? Still fascinating. They seem equally as fascinated in the guest as the guests are in them. And they're very laid back, these little guys. It's kind of fascinating to watch. All right, let's go ahead and get another zookeeper who's going to be assigned to the dodos. And you can help out in here. But not overwhelmed with assignments, because otherwise it gets kind of messy. Hello, everybody. 
How you doing? If you want to donate to the donos, the box is right there. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, they seem like they're enjoying the donos. We'll put some binoculars in here for them. All right, let's see if we can get a male dodo. Little boy dodo. Oh, oh fudge. Fudge the knuckles, what? What the heck? Why did that not, why did that not work at all? What is happening? There we go. Eyebrow man! Poor little Dodo 3. Eyebrow man, did you sabotage us? It's another girl, too. Poor little girl. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I have no idea what happened. That was very alarming. Alright, we'll, we'll take even more caution next time, I suppose. Awesome, cute little horse tails. Yeah, we're gonna mix all sorts of random things. Actually, that, yeah, that's tropical rainforest. We can put horse tails in here. They're like tropical dry rainforest, but you know, in turn, at some point, you just kind of have to put your foot down and put down what you think the animals and the people will enjoy the most. A few of those. And let's see, what else? The New Guinea's impatience actually would probably be a good compromise. Let's come this way. Poor little Dodo. She's so much smaller than the other Dodos. I don't know what happened, sweetie. I'm so sorry. There you go. Oh, this little girl seems to love the dodos. So that makes me happy. And we'll do a little cluster right there. We can do some of the fancier flowers mixed in. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, this lamb! This this is one of the ones we can scatter in around here. Oh, Fern Forest. Are you ever going to be totally decked out? That's so exciting. Alright, and let's see. If one more time. This time we'll be super duper careful. All right. Can't get can't get too sassy about thinking you have petri dish mastery, petri dish mastery. Even are you a little boy? No, you're a little girl. So we have a a small harem of female dodos. It seems. All right, and turn. Well, oh, I think adding in an entirely new species and their home is a red hot research. Congratulations! By creating 10 super animals, you received the red hot research award. Go us! Yes! That's absolutely fantastic. But now that we have completed that, let's go ahead and take a break for the day and then when we come back tomorrow we will continue our research into various new animals to add into our dinosaur park and, you know, continue decorating. Actually, now that I look at it, these guys are way too bright for our little dodo spots. Out you go. They just stand out too much. They really do. There. That looks better. But we'll continue decorating our dodo exhibit. Hopefully get a male dodo. He's going to be very happy with so many females to pick from. But we need at least two so there's no inbreeding. And let's see. Yeah, just work on decorating the whole place a little bit more. Now that a bazillion and a half guests appear to have descended from the skies, from who knows where. They're all so happy though. We should build a playground for the kids nearby. Definitely. Playgrounds are always popular. Why are you out? What is happening? Why are you here? Why are you why are you loose? Okay, that was interesting in turn. And we're also going to try to figure out how on earth that little one managed to escape. Huh. That's concerning. We'll double check our vent security uh, here in the dinosaur park next week in turn. But for now, let's just cross our fingers that everything will be okay and get some rest. So I will see you next week in turn. Bye bye. <laughs>